Hi guys, uh, today we're going to be looking at Backtrack 4 and how to um, attack a victim using a man in the middle attack and sniff the connection. Uh, we'll be using several method, uh, several different um, methods. Uh, there are several different concepts that I want I want you to try and uh, get to grips with before watching this video. Um, one one is ARP cash poisoning. Uh, the second is how an actual man in the mid middle attack works. Even if it's going on Wikipedia, try and read up before you do it. Because if you ask any questions, I don't want to have to speak to you like your 10 year old to uh, try and get you to understand what's going on. Also, uh, performing a man in uh, ARP cash poisoning, you can mess up a internet connection um, if you do not re ARP the victim. If you're running this on your own, if you're doing this attack on your own network, it uh, can cause problems if you do not re the victims because you will struggle to connect to the gateway or and your victim will give you a load of hassle if they know that it's you that's done it. First of all, download uh, Backtrack. You should have this downloaded and installed. It's available from backtracklinux.org forward slash downloads. Um, I'm hoping you've downloaded it and installed it or got a live disk. Anyway, let's crack on. Uh, the first thing you'll need to do, I'm going to assume that you know how to start Backtrack, you know how to configure the network, and you know how to get yourself around in Backtrack fairly competently. Um, I'm, I'm making those assumptions, however, I'm not putting much hope up that a lot of people do. The first thing we need to do is we need to enable IP forwarding to allow us to do the uh, man in the middle attack. We will be doing this using the following command echo space one space full uh, right arrow space forward slash proc forward slash sys forward slash net forward slash ipv4 forward slash ip underscore forward right then you press enter and that's your IP forwarding sorted. I don't need to do that because I've already enabled it. But you need to you, you need to do that in order to use the tools that we will be using uh, in this tutorial. Uh, that leads me on to what tools we'll be using. We will be using three tools mainly. Uh, one is SSL strip. Uh, that decodes SSL, uh, secure socket layer encryption passwords encrypted passwords from such sites as YouTube, PayPal, Facebook, those types of passwords. Um, we will, the next tool we'll be using is DriftNet. DriftNet allows us to see the pictures that the victim is seeing on their screens at the time you're sniffing the connection. It's uh, not, not needed, but it's a great little tool and I'm going to hopefully show you how to use it. Uh, the last tool we'll be using is Etacap which will be actually performing the uh, man in the middle attack and will be uh, art poisoning the uh, caches of the victim and the gateway. Um, what I will suggest to you do first is opening two shell, uh, open a shell and having two tabs open. Rename the first tab SSL strip and the second tab Driftnet. I do this because there's going to be a lot of text and a lot of code floating around and you, it's going to be less confusing uh, when you've got everything sorted. So first thing we'll need to do is, and this tutorial is going to be uh, several parts, I'm not going to try to squeeze it all into one part, but the first thing we'll need to do is go to the start menu, go to backtrack, privilege escalation, all, and then etacap. Now we are not going to be using ordinary etacap we will not be using the text based version or the command line we will be using the GTK which is a full graphical interface uh, the, my reason being it's easier for you to see and it's easier for um, it's just easier all round in case anyone gets stuck or I don't have to go through the command lines uh, the commands in the command line mode um, so this should be pretty easy to, in, and simple to follow First thing we'll need to do is you will need to, I should have said this at the start, you will need to find out your gateway's IP, 
you'll need to find out your victim's IP and you'll need to find out or you need to know the network interface name of the interface you're using to connect to the internet. I'm using Ethernet 0 or FETH0 um, which is a default thing used, it's a default connection when using VirtualBox because it uh, simulates a wired connection through VirtualBox. You again, I'm going to assume that you've already you already know all these, and you will be pretty competent in how to get hold of them. If you don't, you need to look up Nmap or Net Discover tools to uh, find out the victim's IP and the IPs of things of machines on your network. Right, let's get on. Well, you'll need to first of all go to Sniff, Unified Sniffing. Then you will need from this drop down box to find the uh, network interface of that you're using to connect to the internet. In my case it's Ethernet 0. Click OK. Uh, the next thing you will need to do is you'll need to scan your subnet, uh, your network for online hosts. You'll do this by going to the hosts uh, menu on the top. Scan for hosts. That will now scan every IP address in your net on your network for online hosts. Now you can use the hotkeys like you'll see on the right hand side, Control S is for scanning the host or H to view the host list. The host list is available here. I know the IP address of my computer and I know the IP address of the victim's computer. The gate my gateway is always target one. Gateways are always target one. It's the first part of the attack. You are arc caching the, the gateway connection to the target two, which will be your victim. Uh, in which, in this case, is 192.168.1.65, which goes on target two. Now we don't need the host list anymore. You need to make sure that you are 100% certain about which victim you're going to be poisoning the cache of. Uh, to double check, go on the current targets list or press T hotkey and that will bring up target 1 and target 2 lists. You can add and delete from these lists. Uh, for, for, easy, for easiness sake, I'm going to only stick to uh, sniffing the one victim. You can add more. But for this for this uh, tutorial, I'm only going to be sniffing one connection. Right, we've got that done. We need to now initiate the man in the middle attack, or tell Ethercap that we want to be start. We want to do uh, a man in the middle attack. So on the man in the middle or MITM, which is man in the middle for sure, we need to go to art poisoning. Select art poisoning. Do not select any of the optional parameters and then click OK. You now should see at the bottom in the message box art poisoning victims and then your uh, target one and then target two. If that has not shown up, you've done something wrong, you need to double check everything that you've done in these procedures. In the uh, steps that I've, I've shown you. Once you've done that, you need to go to start and then start sniffing. Now you are sniffing the network. You are sniffing the connection between the gateway 192.168.254 and uh, 192.168.1.65 on your network. What I like to do is go to manage the plugins and go to the check poison plugin press enter once you've selected it press enter or double click on the plugin that will activate it and it will either say successful uh, poisoning or no poisoning mine says no poisoning so I'm going to need to before the second part of this tutorial correct my mistakes and uh, restart the, the sniffing that has been part one Stick around for part two and I'll let you see how things go.